Welcome to Destination D-Row, everybody. Today we're going to be taking you on a tour of the Magic Kingdom Emporium. <laughs> So the Emporium is the main shopping area in Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom. It, it pretty much stretches most of Main Street until the end when you get to Casey's Corner. So it's a huge shopping area. It's got all your merchandise. It's got pretty much everything you can buy at Disney stores in the world of Disney in downtown Disney Springs. Um, it's also got merchandise that's unique to Disney parks, especially uh, Walt Disney World. So we're gonna go check it out and do a little review. When you come into the Emporium in the corner, um, there's a lot of coffee mugs. Uh, behind me, you have a whole wall of coffee mugs. You have over here another whole wall of coffee mugs. This is this store has got pretty much everything that you could uh, find on Disney property for the most part, except for unique theme park merchandise. One of the first things you see is all the 2019 merchandise. Got some Epcot stuff here. This is uh, unique. Here. Espresso cups that have all the parts, 2019 mugs. Magic Kingdom Starbucks cups, 25 bucks. Kitchen items. Travel packs, autograph books, little knickknacks, 4th of July holiday stuff. That's some Toy Story stuff. Sorry, sir. Come in to the left in the back here, there's a whole wall of ornaments. Um, you also have your magic band stuff over here. All cell phone and technology stuff is to the, um, if you're to the front of the park when you come in to your left. Um, this side's got pretty much all your technology stuff, phone cases, um, and then the back wall has ornaments. These are some of the custom magic bands. You get them for free, but these are ones that you can pay extra for. I shouldn't say free when you stay at a Disney hotel, but if you want like a Lightning McQueen one or some sort of special limited release one, cost. Use the prices right here. Various cell phone cases, all sorts of Disney ones. Can't turn this. Disney World has a big uh, pin trading following, so behind me is a huge wall that the Emporium has of pins. So the pins are labeled 
the colors, and these are the costs. So from $9.99 to $15. You also have all your photo frames and different uh, travel merchandise, souvenirs. A lot of little knickknacks, keychains, plush toys, blankets, everything you can think of. Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom Spellbinder. The next section is a lot of stuffed animals and plush toys. Wishables squeeze me. Those are new. I haven't seen those. So the section behind me is the toy section. Let's go check this out. So it looks like you get your cars. You definitely have your Toy Story merchandise with Toy Story 4 coming out. You have your Star Wars. You have the monorail sets. $100. This is the train set, excuse me. Monorail sets up here. Woody's toy chest. It opens up. I know these are popular with kids, these little mini blind bags. Uh, they're expensive though. They're 10 bucks for these little blind bags. So if you buy three, you get them for eight. But they're like little collector packs. And they have these little mini figurines, very popular with kids. Board games, puzzles, all sorts of toys. Then you have your headgear over here. All your mini ears, hats, things like that. Magic Kingdom also has another store specifically for headgear um, across the way next to the confectionery. You might find more of a selection of uh, Mickey ears if that's what you're looking for. Behind me is another main entrance to the Emporium. This is the accessories and apparel section. So a lot of times here you're going to find uh, seasonal merchandise. In late August they're going to have the Halloween not so scary stuff starting to pop up. And then Christmas and all the other holidays they usually have. So you have a lot of 4th of July Memorial Day stuff out right now. merchandise on 4th of July. I've never really seen that. These magic bands, shirts, everything. They actually have a lot of 4th of July stuff. America stuff. That's awesome. So this is your toddler section. Toy Story 4 merchandise. So they have a build your own bracelet uh, charm section here. You can take all the different charms and attach them to the bracelets.
you got lots of uh, different t-shirts, hats, and golf uh, t-shirts. So here's some of the golf merchandise I was telling you guys about. This is Disney, but they also have deals with Nike. You can find Nike merchandise with Disney stuff. You know, it's like cotton. It's not really the dry fit stuff, but they do have Disney dry fit and Nike stuff. Golf balls. Pretty much if there's a t-shirt, a Disney t-shirt that's for sale in Disney World, Disney property, you're gonna find it here. This end cap behind me has all different sort of unique theme park merchandise that they're looking to unload and promote. The theme is, is definitely retro. You can see like retro, goofy. Um, you can see like Retro looking castle. So we're on the north end of the store near the castle, and you're gonna find your 2019 merchandise on this uh, circular end cap um, in this area back here. It's also right next to Casey's Corner, that's why it's really loud. Casey's Corner is a quick service, it's got like hot dogs and french fries. This is 2019 merchandise. So if you enter the north end of the Emporium towards Main Street and towards the castle, uh, right next to Casey's Corner, you're gonna find your women's section and other accessories. They have like tiki uh, room merchandise, these tiki hats, tiki jackets, uh, tiki umbrellas. So along Main Street, the Emporium has uh, window displays all throughout, and they're themed differently all throughout the year. They got merchandise stuff, holiday stuff, so you gotta check it out. Of course, you can't see it left and right. You can only can see it straight ahead. So the Emporium is a must check out uh, if you're a shopper or a browser and you like the Disney merchandise. Um, I would say this has got to be on your list of places to stop if you're shopping. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. See you guys later.